Hi everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bites. Today I wanted to show you guys how to make one of my all-time favorite Bosnian dishes. It is called Kvrgusha. I'm not sure if the rest of Eastern European makes this or not, but I do know I grew up eating it and I absolutely love it. So let's get started with the recipe. It is so easy to make. We'll start off by seasoning our chicken. So I grabbed about four to five pieces of drumsticks and you can also do chicken thighs if you prefer. And I'll season them with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. The garlic powder is definitely optional. I just think it adds a little bit more flavor and smell to the chicken. So just get all that seasoned really well and incorporated, and then you're gonna line that chicken up in whatever baking dish you'd like to use. I went the traditional Bosnian route here and I used a tepsia, which is this specific uh, type of baking dish, but you can use any kind that you have on hand. Even glass works fine. Just make sure you put in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil because we are going to cook this chicken on a high heat so we don't want it to stick to whatever dish you're using. So put this in the oven at 425 degrees for 10 minutes and while that starts to cook a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and make our dough. And just a heads up, for this dough, you are going to need a specific seasoning. It is called Vegeta. It's a dry yellow vegetable seasoning from Europe. Um, you can find it at World Market or your local international store, maybe, but I will link it also to Amazon is where I order it from. So you will need that because it does not taste the same without it. In a large mixing bowl, we'll grab three cups of all-purpose flour and we'll season that with one and a half teaspoons of salt and then two teaspoons of vegeta, that dry vegetable seasoning. And then we'll add in two eggs. They don't have to be room temperature. And we're gonna mix together one and a half cups of warm water with one and a half cups of warm milk. So I just combine those in a big um, mixing bowl or measuring cup, whatever you want, and then stir them together and warm them up a little bit in the microwave. And then you're just gonna pour all that in there and whisk everything until everything is incorporated really well. Now we'll also prepare the milk mixture that we're gonna pour over everything later. We'll do that now so that it starts to sit so what you're gonna need is half a cup of heavy whipping cream and a quarter cup of any type of milk. I like to go with whole milk here. So you're just gonna stir those together. You don't have to add anything else and they can be cold because that's gonna sit for a while anyway while everything is cooking in the oven. After 10 minutes of baking your chicken, pull it out of the oven and we're just gonna add our dough. Give the baking dish a couple of shakes and taps to make sure all that dough is dispersed evenly so that you don't have like big lumps of dough sticking out because it's uneven. And then you're gonna put it back in the oven at the same temperature, 425 degrees, for another 35 minutes to bake. So for the last step, we're gonna pour that milk mixture on top of the dough. You can also put some sour cream on top if you like. I do know some people that prefer it that way. I personally do not, I like to just pour the heavy cream and milk on top and then stick it back in the oven for another 10 minutes on same temperature again, or you can put it back in the broiler for about two to three more minutes and it should come out golden brown on top and you can even put a toothpick in the dough. You will see that it's not gonna come out with any dough on it. That's how you know it's done, but really 35 minutes of baking that dough was plenty of time for both the dough and the chicken. So. Please let me know if you guys give this recipe a shot. Let me know if you have any questions or trouble finding that seasoning. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week with another recipe. Bye.